And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, just when you thought it was going to stop. It ain't going to stop. Here we are once again. Welcome to Stories Written by a Current Prisoner with your favorite journalist, Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been one hell of a journey, one hell of a roller coaster. As you already know, a lot of you have, you know, gotten to know a lot of the, the past members. As you've gotten to know Frank Cornejo, man, he's personally one of my favorite story tor- storytellers, man. And uh, I'd like to welcome him once again, man. He's been MIA for a little while there. I'm going to go ahead and let him take over and let him to explain and, uh, you know, what it is that has been going on lately, man. So Frank Cornejo, my good friend, sir, how are you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good, Tony. I'm glad that I'm back on the air, reaching out to my people, because I've been, yeah, I've been in my A for a, for a little bit because I I was getting my thoughts and my, yeah, all my all my all my personal things to, together because I'm getting close to going to board, so I had to take some time for my me time, you know what I mean, for groups and stuff like that. And uh, I'll be honest, I was getting overwhelmed. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I was getting overwhelmed with all the college work and, and you know, my groups and doing and doing the show right here. So I had to step back a little bit and, 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 and you know, just breathe, take a little breather, you know what I mean? And that's what I did, bro. That's what I had to do to get back my two feet planted on the ground. And I'm lucky I'm back. You know, I'm back to a... Uh, to, uh, getting out there and talking to my people, my free Cornell people, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Tony, and, yeah, it's been a minute, and, you know what I mean? And just to clarify, just to make it crystal clear, this is a present interview. This is just uh, done today on this uh, lovely Monday, on, on this uh, new month of October. Ladies and gentlemen, he has not passed away. He is still alive. I don't know where people got that rumor from Conejo, bro, but everybody was commenting like, hey, he's dead or this, that. I'm like, no. Nah. It, oh, it was yeah, getting yeah, kind of yeah. crazy. Hey, I, heard, I heard that. Yeah, I heard it too. Boy. I heard about it. That's why I said, man, I, I got to get back in the air. There was dudes right here in this, right here in my yard telling, hey, Conejo, people think you're dead, bro. And I'm like, where did you get that from? You know what I mean? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I got to get back in the air. Even... Even my, my 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 family, my wife, and all them were telling me too. Hey, you know what? You got to get back on the air, because I don't know where that rumor started, but I'm telling you, people that hear me right now today, it's ten, the second of October, two thousand twenty-three, and Cornejo, Cornejo is healthy, alive. And thank you, God, that every day He lets me see another day, and I don't take each day for granted because I'm getting older, and I try and stay in shape. You know what I mean, and and I'm not I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was a crazy rumor. Yeah, I don't know who started that. No, it was a crazy rumor, man. It was but, a yeah. crazy rumor, man. But thank God you're okay, man. Thank God you're okay. You're alive and you're kicking well, man. Yeah, and, I'm good. Uh, I'm it's good, such bro. a privilege to have you on yeah, the show hey, again, you, man. man. It feels real good to have you on, man. And uh, I'll try I try not to take up too much of your time. I know that people are waiting anxiously and uh patiently for, for one of your new your new episodes, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you uh do exactly that, man, uh and, and take over the floor, man, and uh, excite us and uh, take us there, man, on this crazy path of destruction, man. And uh for anybody out there, man, we are not here to okay. glamorize, promote this lifestyle. We are completely against it. Thank no, you, by the way, Connor. Not at all. All right. Uh, hey, people out there, I'm going to come at you. This is Conejo coming at you. I'm going to take you back on a story in Old Folsom, 1985. I'm going to tell you a story about me, uh, uh, Chely, Chelio from, from, from La Rana, and I'm going to tell you, and, and Boxer from, from uh, Artesia, because he was there with me, and I have to mention his name, because he was there with me, and me and him were, were youngsters back then in, 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 in Old Folsom and, and, and uh a lot of you gotta remember a lot of a lot of times when I tell you stories, it's with me, Chico from Hazard, Carnat Chico was there, Carnat Boxer was there, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 Carnat Spider was there. There was a few Carnales at that time. They weren't Carnales, and we were all striving to be be the become a Carnal in the Mexican mafia because that I, I mean back then that was my 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 gold, and it was a lot of us youngsters' gold to become made into the into the MN because. Because we seen the power of what the Emmy was. I mean, literally, personally, seen it, felt it. And, you know, when you're a youngster, 
and you're coming into the system and you see these older guys giving orders and people doing things and, and, and jumping to attention, even to, to hurt people, to kill people, you get fascinated by that. Especially if you're a young gangster that wants to come up in the ranks and be known. And someone like me, that I'm from an old country town, back in, you know, uh, you got to remember, I'm from Roli, and that's a, that's a country town. There's not a lot of, lot of produce fields, and there ain't too many, too many, too many gangbanging over there. There is, but not like, like big cities like L.A., San Bernardino, San Diego, you know what I mean? So you got to understand, so when I got there to Old Folsom, I want... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I wanted to earn mine, and I didn't. I didn't earn. I didn't start earning mine there. I started earning mine in 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 Chino, in in Chino, when I first came into the reception center because I knew from back in the days when I seen my homeboy Nico when he got out to the streets and he he was already a lieutenant in the Mexican mafia, and he started giving orders and having juntas. I was a little kid shining shining shoes in the neighborhood bars and shit, and I seen him and I said I asked the older homies, hey, who's this guy right here? And they're like, come get out of here, little kid. He's, he's from the Emmy. We're going to have a meeting right now. And I'm like, Emmy, what the hell is the Emmy? He's like, that's the Mexican mafia. And this dude just got out. He's going to take over all the, all the value. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, God, who's this? This dude's like, God, everybody's bowing down to him. So, you know, when I came into the system and I hit Chino, that's the first thing I started doing. But I'm going to take you back to a story in Old Folsom in 1985 when, when, when we were all right there, me, Chilio. And, and, and at that time, it was, it was Boxer's birthday. So Chilio gives Boxer a picture of, of, of me, him, and Boxer. And in the back of the picture, Chilio signs it and he puts, he puts in the back of the picture uh, 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 to my camarada, Rene, Boxer, Boxer Enriquez. And then he put the, in, in, and he put to, to from Articia 13. He put Alta, not, not Artisa, he put Alta 13 in back of the picture, and he put Por Siempre Tu Camarada, El Chirillo de la Rana. You know what I mean? And then Boxer got all fascinated because on top of, it, it, on top of the I in Chirillo, he put an M. So, you know, back then when you get something like that, he was telling me, look, fool, look at the picture homeboy gave me. And it's had an M on it on top of the I. Instead of being a dot, it was an I, 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 I M. So he was all fascinated. He's like, man, when I get made, I'm going to put a big old M on my uh, and, and back then, Chilio had a big old M in that black hand and, and an M in, the, in his chest. So Boxer said, I'm going to put the same thing on me when I get made. You know what I mean? And he did. He did put it on. You know what I mean? I never did put on. I was in the feds when I got made. So I put a, I put a, the, the, the big old uh, Quetzal Coal, the big serpent, the big old M serpent. On one side is Quetzal, and the other side is it, it, it's a, uh, it's the, the, the this Calipoca, so I put the big old M, it spells out the M, it's a, it's a double-headed serpent, and and that's what I put, but that, that was in the feds later on, but I'm going to take you to a story back then, and and uh, because we got to know each other real good, me, Chirillo, Boxer, and at that time, well, Chirillo tells us, hey, you know what, uh, uh, hey, fool, one of these, one of these, cam- one of these, cam- one of these camaradas going to fight one of my carnales in the cell, and at that time, his his carnal was Spider from from he just got made Spider from Logan, Jermaine, he just got made and and he was living with one of the homies a Sureño the homie they got drunk and the homies beat him up, so when he got beat up, you know Chelio is pressing the issue that Spider got to get hit because he didn't kill the little youngster from Los, which is where he he didn't kill him because. Uh, he beat up Spider. And when you're made in the end, no sureño, no sureño can raise a hand on you. Those are the rules. You raise a hand on an MM member in the system, you're going to get killed. That's just the rules from A to Z. That's one of the rules. So Spider at that time, he just got made. He just got kicked out of one back of one building for, for a stabbing he did. And he, they, when they kicked him out of one, one block, back then it was in a shoe term. It was called, he, he did an ag seg term because they didn't have a shoe bit back then. So when he came out of ag seg, the word was he got made back there. So every time you come out, you come out with a wheel. A wheel is a, 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 like a note, basically a letter. You have 60 seconds remaining. Homeboys got made, and he said all the names are right there of all the brothers that signed for him being made. You know what I mean? And, and, and the names were there that were signed that he was a made member of the airman. Hey, Tony, I got to call back. It's, it's, it's got 60 seconds. 
telling you, well, at that time, they kicked Spider out to rain. They kicked him out. He's from Logan. They kicked him out. So we all drove up together. So when he kicked, he got kicked out. And we were glad he got made because, you know, we, he, he's out to tell, yeah, I got made, fool. So I'm like, we, we were there when he did the stabbing before, before he went through the hole and all that. So when he got, I said, man, because one of us that got juice like that, that means he's going to look out for each other. Okay, so we were all happy he got made. He was one of the first ones. Him and, him and, him and Boxer were one of the first ones. Well, anyways, when he got made, uh, uh, we were happy, especially I was because he's from my area. Don't you remember back in those days? You ran by counties like two one three was all LA six one nine was we all all ran together it was it was it was San Diego Valle Imperial and Coachella the all Coachella and Indio because that was the six one nine area back then so you ran like that in cars so I knew him being made and he was like my partner we had juice so when 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 that when that happened and he got because he he used to, when, when he got out he started throwing out a party and he was looking out for us but he his thing was he would like to slam get high and drink. So one day he's drinking, I guess him in the cell, he got in a fight in the sand dock, and his cell, he beat him up. So when he comes out to the yard, he's got a black eye. And one of the first ones that were that, that, that seen it was, 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 was Chari, Charillo. He's the one that seen it. So he tells me, what happened, Garnal? And he tells him, and he tells him, oh, we just had a little misunderstand. Well, he started pushing the issue, tell the other Garnal, and see, that's why I didn't feel this dude was worthy of being made. And that's a trip because he turned his whole back on, on, on Spider because back when he wasn't made, uh, Charil used to always kick it with him. We used to kick it with all of us. You know what I mean? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. That that, that he turned his back like that on him. Even Boxer was like, hey, hey, Cardinal, you know what that's good? He's the homies. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, but he shouldn't have met no other Boxer or Sudeño touch hand. You know the regulars, we can do whatever with any Sudeño as long as they... They don't raise their hand upon us. They got to respect us. We're saying and all that. So we're like, all right. Well, anyways, he's trying to push the issue now to whack him. So guess what he does? He goes to the mess on most all the OGs, the originals, and he tells them about it. And yeah, he gets the approval of a, 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 a to hit to hit fucking spider. Well, that's when he came and he tells me, boxer. And, 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 and Lefty, Lefty was from the Rebels, Big Lefty, and I don't know, and 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 and, and uh, Big Vampiro from from Big Vampiro from 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 Pacoima, Vampiro was there with us, and he tells me, look, anybody want to get made, then then you know what's up, uh, uh, take take Spider out and you get made. Well, at that time, you gotta remember we we're at Guerra with the with the with the with the BGF, so some stuff jumps off in two blocks, bam. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Trampa, uh, 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 Bebito, Tablas, and all. They, they hit a couple more. Uh, they hit a couple of Morenos, a couple of black dudes from the BGF. So they take some of them to the oil because that guerra was still going on. So they lock us up. So when back then, when they locked you up, we went locked up for like three to six months at a time. So at that time, they said put that on hold with spider situation. Well, at that time. Before we came out to the lot, when we came off the lockdown, Spider got transferred to Chino. He went out to court to get something of his case. So he goes out to court, and, and, and Cherillo says, ladies, let's put that on hold. Cherillo ends up going out to court because he, back then, you got to remember, when you're doing time and you know about open cases in your county, you got dudes manipulating the system, having you come down. Because you want to come down to the county jail because you want to take over the county jail and make money from in the county and the streets because you got direct contact. People are coming in from the streets and telling you things what's going on out there. So a lot of people want to come down. At that time, Sheryl already had people that were subpoenaing him to go down to court as a character witness. So he goes down to court. So when he goes down to court, well, I tell Boxer and, and Vampiro, Vampiro, Vampiro was the only one really that wanted to get it done real quick because he, he wanted to get made real bad, real quick to become a carnal. He didn't care who he had to kill. That was just him at that time. Me, I, I looked at it like I, could, I couldn't try and turn my back on my, I was considered my dog in the yard. So I said, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Before he went out to court, I told Spider, I said, hey, Spider, look, fool, you're a carnal already. We all drove up together. We made a little pack in between us that whoever gets made will look out for each other. 
I'm telling you right now, man, they get, you got bad blood on you right now because of Guerito, the fight you got in the cell with your with Guerito. And he's like, no, I talked about it with the OGs. I said, I'm telling you, Chelio's making an issue. Don't tell him I said nothing because I'm only a student. I'm not even a carnal. I shouldn't even be speaking on this. I shouldn't even be warning you, telling you. And he's the one who, that's when he told me, he goes, anyways, I'm going out to court pretty soon. I said, you better get out to court because right now, if we come out this lockdown, they're going to take you out. Buddy. I didn't want to tell him personally I was going to be one of them because he's my dog. But if it came down to that, I mean, that's the way the ball bounces to the doggy dog world. Back then, that's the way it was. It was a doggy dog world. But I'm going to give him a warning ahead of time because that's just the person I was. So he goes out to court and Chirio comes out to court. What? Like after two months, I go out to court and I go down to Chino. At that time, Spider goes to San Diego, so he didn't go through Chino. So when Spider goes, I see, and I end up running into Chilio in, in Chino. And at that time, you gotta remember, I was, I was, in, I was in, 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 in old folks in like two months after Chilio left. Well, at that time, they put a green light on, on, on Cuate for him breaking the rules. So when I see Chilio in Chino, I'm in Palm Hall with him, and I tell him, "Hey, did you hear about your carnal?" He said, "Who?" I see your carnal Cuate. And he's like, yeah, why, what's up? I said, yeah, they put a loose on it, put a green light on him, hard candy on it because of him breaking the regs. He goes, fool, if I run into my carnal, I'll kill my own carnal. I hate that motherfucker. Well, I hate, I don't want to say that on the air, but I hate that EMF. You know what I mean? Because me and him got personal stuff going in between us. And I didn't know that. So I'm like, oh, yeah? And he goes, yeah, so you see him. This is Chirio telling him, you see him, you make sure you take him out, on him. That way you can get made. And I'll, and I'll raise my hand for you to get made. But you better make sure you kill him. Because if you don't kill him, then I'm coming after you. Because believe me, there's been people that try to kill him and they can't kill him. So I was I was kind of shocked on that. I'm like, this is his own blood brother. This is Cherio's own blood brother. And he's trying to have him killed? So at that time, Cherio tells what happened with that pedal with, 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 with the spider? And I said, well, he went out to court. And he goes, you know what? You ain't gonna believe it. They took they they took him off the list. And I said, is that right? He goes, yeah, I just got direct work from my carnales. They took him off the list. So if you ever see him, that ain't a goal. So don't do nothing because if you do something, it's gonna they're gonna come at you. And I'm like, okay. Because you gotta remember the carnales back then, they would always stay in contact and they had what's called a dirty list. And the dirty list was every dude that was on the list that had to go. And we couldn't see that list because we were Sureños. But an MM member could share it with another MM member. But they wouldn't share it with us. They would tell you about maybe one person being on there. Or if you were somewhere close to another person that had to get got, had to get taken out, then you were never going to share it with you. But they weren't going to tell you who else is on that list. So when he told me that, I said, oh, is that right? He goes, yeah. And Kilroy and Joe lo sacaron de la lista. That's Big Joe Morgan, Big Leg, and, and, Kil, and Kilroy. And I'm pretty sure that Tablas had some, because back then Tablas had a lot of hugo. So, because there were dudes that wanted Cuate kill, even, even Topo wanted Cuate kill back then, but they couldn't find nothing. But he, since he broke the rules, and that's why uh, Cherio told me, when, if I had run into I'll kill him. So, when he tells me that, I'm like, Okay, so so that's to, well, well, there's still people thinking in the county. I know that they shot word to the county. If they see Spider to hit him, some will take him out. So he tells me, hey, do me a favor, right to the county, because that's where you guys go to your condo. I said, no, that's not my county. My county is Avaya. He goes, but I know people. They go, all right. And you tell them directly that I said that he's off the least up because if anybody touches him, that's their ass. Because I'm one of them that put his name on there. So he was kind of worried about that because he told me, I, when, when he told me who was involved, and, 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 and anytime you mentioned Kilroy, Topo, even Cuate, Big Rude, and all that, the other brothers, they get scared because they know that those are called the originals. Even Rolling Berry, Rolling Berry, uh, all them, uh, Big RC. All them, uh, 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 Buckethead, George, all them dudes like that, Philip, all them dudes, old man Philip from Clover, all them dudes, those are called the originals, and those got 
final say so. So that's why he was worried because because Chilio, yeah, he's a carnal, but he you gotta remember this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. He's of the air of of him, Tupi, uh 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 Tootie, uh, uh, the other Tootie, you know what I mean? That's that air that got made uh 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 what's it called? Um uh Tigre, uh uh boxer from, from avenues, you know what I mean? But that's that's that his that's his air. So when when you get made, those are your brothers that are gonna look out for you. And he was worried that because he wanted he was pushing it to kill Spider, and 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 Spider just got made. And I'm like, so he was worried that if he got back to Old Folsom, that these fools are gonna move on him because now he's worried because they got a green light on his brother. And I think he just said that to try and impress me because he knew I was going to be going back faster than him because he was, what he was doing, they were bringing him, they weren't leaving him in the county. What they were doing with him, he'll go to the county jail in Los and he'll stay in the county maybe a month, I mean a, a week or two, and they'll bring him back to Chino and then go again and then come back again. So he knew that he was going to be longer there than, than me. And he told, make sure when you get back on there, do me a favor. Tell my carnal is this and this and this. And I said, I already took care of it, but make sure you get word to San Diego to stop that pegada. Because I, if it, he told me, this is, this is his words. Because if it comes down to me and you, you know who's going to go down. You're going to go down. And I said, I didn't, I never put no, I tell quite, I tell to you, I never put no, no palabra and no, no, no palabra to hit spider. That's my camarada. He's like, no, 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 I'm not saying that, but I'm saying I'm giving you responsibility to make sure that anybody in the county don't touch him, because if anybody in the county touches him, then I'm telling everybody I told you, and I'm like, that's when I, that's when I see that this, that, that Chelio, he's a big snake. I'm like, he's doing it in front of my face, using politica in front of my face to cross me up. So... I took it like, okay. In my mind, I said, all right. I said, don't worry, I'm going to handle it. But in my mind, I knew what he's doing. He's using politics because he has higher power over me that if something did t happen to him on the way from the county jail to, to, to the reception center back to Old Folsom, something happened, he was going to throw it on me. So the first thing I did when I went back, guess what I did? I didn't wait for no I – didn't, I, 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 didn't, I, I shared it with a couple of people, but I didn't – my my main main personal thing, I, my main thing was I was make I even at that time I'm not lying when I got back, I did a pegada to get sent back to one block so I can talk to Big Joe, because you gotta remember I started a relationship with Joe Morgan back in in, in Deep Seg in Chino, so when I was up I knew talking to directly to Joe he was gonna cover my ass, so that's what I did I did a pegada went back to one block and I explained everything to Joe. And this is this is Joe telling me, Conejito, don't worry about it. Cause I told him straight out. I told him, Chelio's trying to cross me up. He goes, how's he trying to? I explained everything to him. Though. I just what I my story I just told you. Then he's like, look, don't worry about it. I got your back. If he, if something happens to 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 Spider on the way back to the county, I'll make sure that Chelio's gonna take, gonna 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 he's gonna feel the 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 the, the, the he's gonna feel this is the way he said it. He's gonna feel what iron feel what what iron's supposed to feel like. Because I know what he's doing. He's trying to use you and cover his ass because he's the one that was pushing the issue, trying to get Spider's staff because he got a fight with Guerito. And things like You have 60 seconds remaining. You got to understand, Joe's an understanding guy. Not. Things like that happen. People get drunk and yeah, but that doesn't mean you got to kill somebody. And the reason I'm telling you all this, so all you youngsters out there thinking that come in the system and you're going to try and make a name for yourself and get crossed up in here and get lost in the system where you get killed or they use you. Cause there's a lot of people like that that I see now, what happens? I got hit 28 times, 30 times, they almost killed me because they got crossed up with politics in the system because they didn't use their mind. And you gotta understand when you see a politic move, you gotta recognize for it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn how to get around that and get over that at the same time, look good, but don't get crossed up. I gotta go. It's already time. This is Cornell coming.